This is our review for Ben's Campground at Lake Tacoma in Oklahoma. We are on the way. Guys, we're at Lake Texoma uh, State Park. Um, as the name suggests, it straddles uh, Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, this is not going to be a particularly comprehensive um, review because uh, it was raining pretty much most of today and part of yesterday. And, um, Janie hurt her back, so we weren't able to go out and do much walking and do all of those things. Uh, we've got a uh, full hookup site, so power, water and, um, and uh, sewer. Um, they have the, uh, the grill and the fire pit and the, uh, the table, of course. Um, and for the three nights, I think it was about $95 or $96. Uh, so quite, quite reasonable for the full hookup. Uh, lots of um, wildlife around, you know, geese and all of those things. Uh, there's a boat ramp, volleyball tables, there's a couple of bush walks. Um, again, like I said, we can't tell you a hell of a lot about it because we've basically been stuck in our, our bus. Did have an interesting thing happen at one of our campsites recently. We think we might have been subjected to some vandalism, but we're not a hundred percent sure. Um, but it appears that somebody uh, stabbed a hole in our sewer pipe. Now, when I do the dumping, I make sure that I I, I charge the pipe with the grey water first, and I noticed that it was leaking underneath it so I stopped the grey water from going through had a look at it and right underneath above the ground so at the curve so it's not where it was touching the ground but as it curved out of the, the, the tank or the cabinet there was a hole punched up underneath so it went from being fine the day before to having this hole in it the following day. Um, which just magically appeared and it was the size of either a screwdriver or a key. So we're a little suspicious, there's no, no proof with anything. In any case, um, fairly easy repair, I won't even go into the details of that. Um, and we fixed it all up. Yeah, I saw that expedition over there and I thought, hey, look, somebody else has got exactly the same bus as ours, but we've just turned around in a loop and it's ours. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, getting here, getting here was not fun. Um, was it coming here that wasn't yeah. the fun or was it? Yeah, it was here. It was not, you know, you were looking at oh, the by actually okay. Campground. Yeah, the campgrounds are on two sides of the, of the lake. So we put in Lake Texoma and it took us to the, um, the state park offices, which are on the other side of the lake. Um, and because we didn't have the actual name of the campground, which is Joe's or Ben's Joe's or the something. Other side. This, we are on Ben. Right because we didn't have that and that was in our GPS it took us to the offices rather than to here the other problem was our GPS tried to take us through another dirt road which looked like it had been closed and we actually ended up having to um, to take the car off uh, the car off the back and for me to back the bus up a bit and for us to get back out of there and go a different route so we're not happy with our GPS. Our GPS is causing us immense problems at the moment. 
but without GPS you will not get to places. But without it, we will, yeah, we'll be completely lost. Anyway, um, like I say, we can't say whether or not we would come back here again or not because we just have not been able to get out. This is basically the first time we've been able to get out and go for a walk. Um, so we can't give the review any justice whatsoever. Really. Anyway, that's our review, be what it may, of um, Lake Texoma State Park turtle running as quickly as he can to get away from us. Well, there's another critter to add to our critter list. I'll leave him alone. Alright, just to be um, clear about the um, suspected uh, sabotage that uh, occurred. I'll just show you exactly where the issue was. So with the sewer connection, it comes out of the bottom of the, the bus and then it, it runs off to uh, the sewer. So we had the leak um, up under here all right so uh, weird place to get a, a leak now the other thing was the, the sewer pipe was brand new uh, we had added it on to uh, one of our orders with e-trailers so that we didn't pay the freight charge so the, the cost of the um, sewer pipe uh, was lower than the cost of the freight charge um, and it popped the, the order over a hundred dollars so we got free free freight so the pipe would have been less than three weeks old uh, hard to imagine how uh, um, a pipe that new would have that problem. It was only a little short pipe as well. It was only, I think, six feet long, um, and so it was. It was sort of like a, one that we would use if our main hose wasn't quite long enough. And I've I've been thinking about it a little bit, and I think it's. I think it's quite likely somebody's done it because I can't think of any way that the um, the pipe would would have that sort of damage occur to it um, I mean they're, they're relatively sturdy so then I started thinking well why why would somebody do this and it comes down to two options the first one was when we pulled into the uh, the campsite we noticed that there was a disabled sign on the on the post so we'd be like, oh gosh, we're, you know, we're not disabled, we need to go and sort this out, we need to go on to a different um, campsite. So we went to the, uh, the state park office and we explained the situation to them and they said, well, we're pretty empty, it's uh, off season, uh, don't worry about it, if we need you to move, we'll let you know. Now I know some people take offence to people who are not disabled being in disabled base that could be uh, the reason that this was done uh, rather than come and talk to us which would have been the easiest thing the other one which is a little bit more disturbing and I really hope that this wasn't the case is of course Janie and I being mixed race marriage um, some people don't like that either uh, which would be you know, it's 2024, it's not 1964. Um, that would be incredibly disappointing. And I, I really don't think that that would have, been, would have been the issue. We've never ever really had um, many issues with regard to that. You know, odd ones here and there, no, nothing, nothing much. So anyway, there's my two theories. But inside, I personally hope it was just um, 
a random thing that happened and damaged it rather than uh, a malicious damage and, and I think for my own peace of mind that's what I've got to go with um, and, the, and you know the replacement pipe was $12 so it's no, no, no big deal anyway so that's that's that I don't really want to carry on with this so yeah hey guys look if you uh, enjoyed the video and the video content um, or you've uh, seen something that you think is worthy of being shared there is the option to share the, the video out on your own social media um, and uh, that would help us out so feel free to hit that share button as well as the like and subscribe